Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Today I have uh, content that's slightly different from my normal content. It's a Bellway home, it's called the Pine Heart. It's a four bedroom detached home with a single garage. It's 1,382 square feet. It costs 327,995 pounds, okay? So this house is located in Kilmarnock. I think she said she had only a few houses left, but I am so happy to share this home with you. It's so beautifully decorated. Um, yeah, it's a full bed. It had a simple garage, but there was no door from the house to the garage. So I completely forgot it had a garage. Um, I'm back home with my sweet baby. Say hello. 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 Um, yeah, guys, the Pine Heart. This area is really lovely, guys. There's a lot of lovely cycle routes. Um, the house on the outside is gorgeous. I love a bellway home. I love the outside. It always looks aesthetic. Um, I love the bay windows. They're always so gorgeous. And that door is just... I thought a picture would show this better, but on the right hand side is currently an office, but that's where the garage would be. I was finally inside, but I walked in and walked to the left of the house where the living room was, and to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised. I was expecting quite a small living room because new builds are notorious for stingy space but this home was really spacious and of course really well decorated the show homes always show up um, I loved everything about the decor I loved the way they had um, put the um, the L sofa there um, although it feels like it's on the way for the windows it's just so well lit and beautiful so this is how you enter that's the main door there and then that little door off the main door is just a tiny shoe closet but this is a cloak room and it was so spacious um i love the way they always put the the full mirrors behind the the loo this always makes the room look more spacious and that wallpaper was just banging i loved this little bathroom it's a great way to show your guests that they are welcome it's also really easy to access from the living room from the main entrance if you have young ones like me you know that it's important to have a toilet just as they enter um so this is basically the layout i'm currently in the living room the kitchen is just the opposite side of the living room this door here won't open but i'm gonna go ahead and assume it's the electrical closet that's probably why it's locked and then the living um the kitchen here has this beautiful sofa like a wee bit you can have some coffee here and then they have like a little dining table here as well a round one which had me thinking maybe i need a round table because it saves so much space um but also accommodates quite a few people so yeah this is the kitchen the appliances were really lovely they also had integrated things like the key, um, the fridge that i didn't have a chance to record but i really loved what the decorator did the trinkets on the counter are so sweet um they had these double ovens and my favorite part has to be the laundry room i need a laundry room in my next home guys you have to pray for me i definitely need one of these it's just the best um they had like a little washing machine there but it does not have space for a dryer so it's quite a small living um laundry room that spaces for your washing detergents and stuff but i don't think a dryer would fit on that other side again the decorator was here to show out that is so cute um they also had that door off the laundry room is really good so you could access the garden and hang your stuff 
so that's ideal and it's quite beautiful the whole bellway home i must say was well lit those three windows make a huge difference and the double doors and then there was another window can you imagine so there's another window near where you could have say your cup of tea and just relax you could probably make that a little living room if you like another little room with a tv on the wall you could really use that space for something else if you really wanted to um next to those double ovens is the fridge and this was the garden obviously every home will be different garden wise but i'm sure it will be a good size that's something to keep in mind if you're reserving make sure you get a good plot a good size garden this is me heading on upstairs the stairs were not like steep or uncomfortable or anything the landing was also so beautiful decorated it had a little of a sharp turn but it, the ceiling was quite high which made it feel just that tiny bit of grandeur the landing was big to be honest so i took a little turn around to see i could peek into the master bedroom i saw how you could look down the stairs to shut on them kids to come to bed <laughs> i decided to take the very first room on the left hand side which was just a double room um just big enough maybe for the big girl like if you have a little teenager or something or just any child really it had a nice space for wardrobes but again it's a literal bedroom <laughs> like yeah there was not much space for anything else except the bed and the closet um this was the family bathroom well decorated as usual loving the mirrors the way they reflect um yeah The next room was, I felt like a slightly bit bigger. I feel like this room is slightly bigger. I could be wrong. I haven't looked at their dimensions of the bedroom, but it also had, actually I am wrong. They're probably the same size because there's no wardrobe in that one. This one is definitely the smallest room in the house. It's a, um, decorated as a child's room. But I guess if you have a smaller family, it could be an office or anything you want it to be. And for our favorite part of the house, well, my second favorite, I love a good kitchen. But this right here, the master bedroom, where you come in and wind after a long day is really important. I love the bay windows. I love the double doors. Um, that right there is a wardrobe i don't know if me and my husband would fit in there like fit our stuff in there but it's lovely and seamless that looks like a double bed as well so that could be a little problem i hope that a king could fit properly the ensuite though the ensuite was giving what it needs to give it's quite spacious that shower is quite big it fit to it definitely could fit to the shower head was really nice looking i love that rain shower head and then you could come out and you had enough space but right here is when you head downstairs you can see the main door and then off to the left is the toilet and this is the mystery door i never opened this is like the shoe closet bit and that's so guys thank you so much for watching that video if you like that kind of content do let me know i have another three bedroom in the same estate that is really lovely bellway homes are you know they're really doing the thing to be done i enjoyed that i enjoyed the decor so if you do love it let me know like this video share this video and i will know that you love it um so that's it guys see you next time say bye 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 bye, bye.